What's up, weirdos? I think I found maybe a problematic favorite? I think I found somebody who's a little bit, I don't know, I love her. But also, is she a bad person? She is confusing, she is an enigma, she is Glitter Forever 17. Now when I say that name, it might ring some bells for some of you. Cause in like the 2016, 2017, like that era of YouTube, she was a children's uh, influencer. I say that a little bit trepidatiously because her videos had titles such as DIY Pregnant Barbie Doll, Knocked Up Barbie, How to Make Barbie Pregnant. This one which is blurred because the thumbnail is, I, uh, there's no way that you can show that. 20 period life hacks, DIY period EOS. <laughs> like the chapstick thing? School emergencies and then vagina odor. Yeah, this video is starting off real strong. God. On the surface level, you could go, okay, that's educational content for kids. Like, that could be good. But the videos are not that tone. Uh, uh, what was that? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the tone of the videos that she's making. By the way, Pregnant Barbie was a joke in the Barbie movie? And this isn't her capitalizing off of that. This is from 2016. Also, I didn't see this part of the title earlier. Fetus Barbie. Interesting. In the description it says, special thanks to Mattel for this amazing partnership. Is that, did they, did they, is that? I question the validity of that being a sponsorship by Mattel. Although Mattel did make the pregnant Barbie in the first place, but my point is she's weird. She's a weirdo. She doesn't fit in and she doesn't want to fit in. I'm sorry, my brain is still mush after watching that Riverdale episode. But this is what she was doing back then, back when she was blowing up on YouTube. Kind of, in my opinion, Spider-Man Elsa type content. Do you guys remember Spider-Man Elsa videos, by the way? How was that allowed in any way at all? You know what? Let me look it up real quick. Yeah. Yeah, do you, if you don't remember those, don't go look them up, by the way. That's all you need to know. But Spider-Man Elsa and Glitter Forever 17 were making videos for kids. Like, exclusively for kids. But with, I don't want to say, like inappropriate yeah i would say inappropriate undertones things that if they were subject to the guidelines and regulations that like children's tv channels have they would not be able to do because it's just weirdly weirdly adult but it's like adult ideas made for kids anyways that's not really the point that's just kind of the backstory of who she is because what she's doing now i i, I just watch this with me this is the first video i've seen i don't know if i can like explain what she's doing here. My husband's gay. He's a gay man. I'm a straight woman. We are married. Okay, already. <laughs> the way that she's talking to the commenter in this, like they're an idiot. They were just commenting, what do you mean gay husband? How is that a thing? Because, you know, Glitter Forever 17 is a cis woman, as we'll continue to see in these videos, but she mentions her gay husband in all of her TikToks. And obviously it's like bait for engagement, obviously. But what I love about her is that when somebody will ask, she'll go, so I have a gay husband and I'm a woman. Okay, he likes men, so do I. Okay, as if you're so stupid for being confused by that. Because it's not a beard. Like, I know what the concept of a beard is. A beard being a straight woman who is, you know, in a relationship with a gay man to give him, like, cover. I think that's what it is. Actually, let me double check. A person who is used knowingly or unknowingly as a date, romantic partner, or spouse either to conceal infidelity, that's not what we're talking about, or to conceal one's sexual orientation, that is what we're talking about. I know what a beard is, but this isn't used to conceal this person's sexual identity because he's just out and gay. Like, he's gay. She calls him her gay husband. She doesn't even call him by his name. I had to go look up his channel to find out that his name is Slava. And Slava's killing it. Slava's, Slava's out here, but Slava is out here, you know what I mean? So this isn't a beard situation. Me watching this video, it piqued my interest and then I did some digging and it led me down a rabbit hole that I half regret and I'm half so grateful for. Let's finish the video though, give her a chance to explain herself. We both like men and we make the perfect partnership. Yeah, 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 yeah. That does make sense, that does make sense. That's why I pursue exclusively Sapphix. Sapphix? Sapphix? I look for women who do not like men because I don't like men, so why would I want to hang out with a woman who likes men? That's literally gross. I want to be with a woman who only loves women because then, you know, we've got a common ground. Which if you say a sentence like that, it's like, okay, it's a funny little thing to say. She's married to him and she's been married to him for six years. And not she's been married to him. Oh, that's so tough for her. He, a gay man, has been married to this 
straight woman six years slava why and my journey was i clicked that comment to go see the video where the comment was from and i saw that and i immediately was like nope 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 i gotta save the rest of this to watch it with the weirdos because i don't like to pre-watch videos because what am i gonna script my reactions that's literally so lame i'm the bad boy of youtube i watch middle ditch and schwartz i'm an improv boy that's really what my youtube videos are it's me saying God, I hope I'm funny today. Sometimes I am. I'm very grateful for you guys for watching my videos. Anyways, let's go, let's go watch it. Me and my gay husband met through YouTube, I would say, but we started to communicate through Twitter. He had made a parody of one of my edible videos and I saw it. So that's how the relationship started. This is what I mean. Like I saw that and I was like, I gotta just, I gotta watch it with the weirdos because I kind of love her. I kind of do. That's amazing. The question, hey, how'd you guys meet? I'm assuming with the intention of getting some details about how her, a straight woman, is now married to a gay man. And the answer is, yeah, you know, he just reacted to one of my YouTube videos and then we just started talking from there. And that's it? <laughs> Okay, girl, give us nothing. <laughs> she's great, though. She's great, though. And so she's referencing her gay husband watching, I guess, pregnant Barbie videos? <laughs> no, 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 the edible videos. So I'm guessing she made, like, edible slime videos. I don't want to scroll down on her YouTube channel because literally, you can go look it up for yourself, but I don't want to get demonetized. That's why she's my problematic fave of the week for me personally, for me personally, right now. But that's just me. Tell him, Jerry. But that's me. Are me and my gay husband in an open relationship since we aren't sexually attracted to one another? I think, you know, a little bit personal of a question to just be asking somebody online. I think that, you know, TikTok and the social media in general has kind of blurred the lines of what's okay to ask somebody. But she and her persona and who she is online is very, like, Trisha Paytas open about she'll just talk about anything and obviously you know she's answering this question i think it's a fair question and i would hope so if he's gay i hope he has a man that he's in love with but why is he married to her <sighs> i'm sure we're gonna find out i'm going to do the research and we will find out why they are straight married <laughs> but yeah i am curious too are they in an open relationship that would make sense if it's just like they're married as a partnership as a friendship no we're not oh Okay. <laughs> Him and I have come to an agreement that if we can't be with one another sexually, then we're not going to be with anyone. And both of us have taken a vow of celibacy in honor of each other and in honor of our marriage. Are they being like weird Christians right now? Because celibacy... That feels like, you know, American Christian terminology. Yeah, so I'm married to my gay husband, and we're basically absolutely not sexually attracted to each other. And instead of, you know, me finding a husband who I can be with in that way, I'm instead saying, I'm not gonna do anything, and you're not gonna do anything. But, why? <laughs> I, like, why? I'm, we're, this comment right here, divorce. He is gay and not interested in you. Find you a man who is and wants a woman. Stay as his friend, but move on. Preach it, Nene1425. Preach it, girl. Hey, 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 hit that Nene, Nene, before you get a whooping. Ah, yeah! He is gay. Find a man who wants a woman. This is great, because this comment right here, I can never tell if you're serious or not. She really does play the game. I think, I think that's one thing that we'll start to figure out more and more. After seeing that YouTube video and her tone in these videos, I really feel like she does kind of engagement bait, which is fine. Get your bag, queen. But it is a little bit. Is engagement bait worth six years of a loveless marriage <laughs> would you spend six years in a loveless marriage for 300,000 followers on tiktok or could you just be entertaining on your own i don't know man i don't know man but let's let's get back to it because i do worry that this is a little bit of like a christian self-hatred type thing for her husband because we take marriage very seriously and it's just not something we're gonna break our vows over that's what God and Jesus is telling us. That's what it says in the Bible. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what it says in the Bible. The Bible says you can't be gay. So that document from all those years ago, yeah, I think it means I need to be in a loveless marriage for six years. Yeah. Like I said, problematic, fave. She's so interesting. Ah, that really does, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Here's my hang up. The thing that she is saying, I could understand the like the the mindset of it from the husband's perspective. If he is a self-hating gay Christian, God. But if he is a self-hating gay Christian, I can understand why he would be like, if I can't be with a man, 
then I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not be with anybody because I don't wanna I don't wanna sin. I don't wanna go to hell. You know what? Like that's a very sad, sad, sad journey that a lot of people do go through. But infrequently is the woman coming out being like, Yeah, it's my husband, that's my husband, I'll stand by him, but you like like, why don't you find a man who likes a woman? <laughs> and also, is she Christian? Because if she is, I have interesting news for you. I'm not gonna show the links, I'm not gonna show anything, I'm like, uh. But she makes, I'm guessing, the majority of her living doing only. I gotta kind of censor the word so that, you know, it doesn't get flagged, but you know what I mean? She, she's doing that, so she's willing to say, well, the Bible doesn't literally say that I can't be a, you know, the, that, so I guess it's fine. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't add up. The Venn diagram of Christians and corn workers, there's very little overlap. And that overlap who also thinks that being gay is a sin, that's exclusively her. She is the only Christian corn worker with a gay husband who they're celibate with together. You know what I mean? I still make a little bit of money off YouTube, but it's nothing compared to my main platform, which is my accounting job. It's actually a code word for something else. There you go. Her accounting job. There you go. That's where she makes most of her money. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This information is all adding up to make sense. Um, no, it's not. I really don't know what's going on. And I can't tell what is real and what's a joke. And I kind of stand. Even though I am a boy, I can stand. Let me list off the things that I stand. This is not all inclusive. I stand many things that I'm not gonna list right now, but these are things that I for sure stand. Killian Murphy, Jimin. <laughs> Jimin, Jimin, Jimin. <laughs> Hey, ARMY. I love you, ARMY. I love you, ARMY. I don't want to say that I'm the strongest of the ARMY, but the ARMY together is strong. <laughs> I'm just joshing around. I'm just joshing around. Ah, uh, yeah! My gay husband really isn't gay if he's with me. Is that what you're saying? Okay, let's read the comment real quick. She's, she's coming in already with the tone of, she's gonna teach us a thing or two about what it's like to be married to a gay husband under the, uh, under the eyes of God. So the comment says, so he's not really gay if he's married to you or he's lying to himself. Why didn't he just go with a man if that's what he wants? Good question. Now let's see what kind of attitude she's gonna give in this video. I love her. Ah, uh, yeah! Let me explain. So my husband and I met at a church camp. That is a nightmare. That is a disaster. If you have ever met somebody at a church camp, let me just say, please take a step back and reconsider. A church camp relationship? It can only go one of two ways. Insane drama that leads to a breakdown of every single friendship. Or, you have a gay husband. <laughs> That's what I know. People who are in church camp relationships, yeah. You know, I grew up going to church camp. I did. And look at me now. I came out stronger. I came out looking back on it going, oh, 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 which is the reaction you should have if that's what your, you know, summers look like. Him and I had been spreading the word of Jesus Christ for many years of our lives, and we don't believe in homosexuality. What do you mean you don't believe in it? Look at your husband. He's gay, but you've never called him his name. You call him your gay husband, but you don't believe in homosexuality? Well, I, I believe that it's real, but I believe that it's a bastardization of what God intended. Really? I'm not even gonna get into the that. Again, her main job, in her words, is Accounting, which is fine. Like we support like that's not you're fine to do that. We don't judge that But there is something interesting about doing that Being a Christian and having a gay husband like what like and by the way spreading the word of Jesus You can do that without being married to somebody You know what I mean? You could go around with your friend and be like hey Jesus says to love everybody unconditionally Unless they're gay. I guess that's what they were doing. But you could, you could, you know, give the nice, the, the nice news of Jesus. Which were things like, you know, love each other, give to the poor, support your local communities, and capitalism is... We're not gonna get into it. We're not gonna get into it. Maybe one day, but today is not that day. All I'm saying is you didn't have to marry him. Okay, gay husband, I'm talking to you right now. You don't have to be married to her. You, can, you don't have to. But they're, I guess, in love with each other. But platonically, so they're besties. Do you have to marry your bestie? I gotta go make a couple calls. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah! So even though my husband's gay, he doesn't believe in the homo life, and so he married me, and I said, I will save you from the sin, because that's what I'm doing. 
So we got married and I saved him from the sinful life of being a homosexual. Uh, what? <laughs> that was a lot that you just threw in there at the end of the video. I don't believe in the, in the homo life. Neither does my husband. So that's why he married me because I'm saving him from a life of sin in the homo life. Like, that's crazy to say. You're at once saying that you are his savior, which think that that goes against what you're saying the Bible says, but also the homo, like really, you're gonna, you're gonna use that word? Like 1980s bully? I think I've already said it enough just in referencing. I feel uncomfortable saying it right now. This is a good time, by the way, to go look at her gay husband's profile. Slava. Love the name Slava. Ah, uh, yeah. It's my man. It's my man. Okay, Slava. Okay, that's her husband. <laughs> that's her husband, y'all. Oh, wow. The comment right there, disrespectful. Thank you to Jesus for making me a self-hating gay man born in Russia. He's the star, he's so funny, but God, that's sad. Bill is my wife, we're married. The point of marriage is to share life together. You know, like what's mine is yours, what's yours is mine and all that stuff. And that's what we do, me and Bill share everything. And yes, sometimes that includes a big fat- Wait, what? It's not gay if you suck your wife's boyfriend's <laughs> That's a funny sentence to think of out of context. Wait, 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 the caption. Why my wife's straight boyfriend is required to sleep with me? What? No, the comment. You know what? You just gave me an idea. Wow! That's not a good idea to follow. You shouldn't do that. But I thought that they didn't live the homo life. <laughs> I thought that that was a sin. I don't understand. No, 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 no. This is weird. This is so weird. Okay, so let's add another circle to the Venn diagram. Christian, accountant, gay husband, and he's allowed to be gay. <laughs> what? But only with me? If I'm, and I'm a woman, but it's, I have a boyfriend? She has never mentioned her boyfriend. Is that a joke? That has to be a joke. Ah, uh, yeah. Absolutely not. I would actually be really happy for Breland. I would love for her to find a man. Um, we have discussed this situation in the past. This is right before the video where he said that he does do it. So is it a hypothetical situation? Okay, this makes more sense. So the other circle is, would hypothetically suck my wife's boyfriend's Interesting. Wait, let's keep going. I'm so engaged in this right now. Engaged? Enga engaged? There's something there. I'm gonna make an engaged joke later and it's going to be tasteful. Ah, uh, yeah! Set some boundaries and some rules. For example, if Brian's dating a man, that man should also be okay with sleeping with me. Um, not at the same time, because like, we're not crazy, <laughs> but like separately. So the last thing was him answering it hypothetically. If he were to sleep with his wife's boyfriend and he, uh, okay, okay. I think I'm not tracking. Let's keep going. One time back in New Orleans, Bilan was dating this gang member who was kind of like, you know, the king of the city. Um, he was a daddy, y'all, he was a daddy. Uh, but she was dating this gang member and she was kind of afraid at first to confront him and say, hey, you gotta sleep with my husband. Um, but she did it and surprisingly it went really well. So long story short, a gang member ate my ass. No, 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 he's, he's lying, he's lying. Okay, so, okay, he's joking. He's, okay, so the ending of it is the joke. I get it, it's, it's okay. Engagement bait, I'm not falling for this. Cause he's talking hypothetically at the beginning, but then going in to tell a story about how she was dating a gang member who was the king of New Orleans, who was a daddy, and then that daddy gang member ate his ass. That's, uh, I, I don't buy it. I don't buy this whole flipping thing. But also I know that there are some Christians who are so self-hating when they're, when they're gay, like gay Christians that are self-hating. And by the way, you're gonna get through. Absolutely not. I do like getting f I mean, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, actually, I'm seeing a red flag right here. I gotta jump right to this. Regarding Doja Cat, is he gonna say something about how she's, you know, like, satanic and stuff? Because Christians are doing that right now. By the way, can I just say, I kind of want to make a video about, like, the whole Doja Cat timeline because it's, it's going crazy right now. But this right here, this Doja Cat right here, Christians act like, oh my god, she's literally working for the devil. Oh, it's literally the demons at work. No, she just thinks that you people who are so uptight are funny and she thinks it's funny to make you guys freak out because of how lame you are. She's not possessed by the devil. She's using religious imagery in a way to say, look, I think you all suck. I'm gonna be crazy. Like, it's a great way for her to say, like, F you to people that she doesn't like. Same exact thing with Lil Nas X twerking on the devil. He's using the imagery to talk about the judgmental 
hateful Christians who have made him feel like he's nothing. That's what they're doing. They're not working for the devil. They're not devil worshiping. Nobody, de you know what I mean? That's not what's happening. They're using that imagery to make you look like an idiot with your stupid ass reactions. Look at this. Does Doja Cat worship the devil? No, she just thinks that it's funny to dress up like that and see you all freak out over it. Same thing with the tattoos. God, it's like, it's not like that. Because a lot of times Christians will get into this mindset of it's the battle of good and evil. And then they see something like this and they go, that's evil. And they think that they're in a movie. The People who are doing this are laughing at you. It's embarrassing to see these people get got. And then also for it to spin into actual hate where it's like genuine vitriol for people who are like, vitriol? Did I just say that word? Is that even a word? <laughs> Vitri vitriol. Wait. Vitriol. Yeah, I f***ed up the pronunciation on that one, but I was getting close. We'll get there. I'll read another book one day. Anyways, back, back, back to this. Let's see what it is. Ah, uh, yeah! <laughs> Why do people care so much what she looks like? Okay, Slava, actually, you know what? Thank you. Keep going, keep going. She's a singer. She's supposed to sing and she does a good job. Her latest single attention, loved it. Amazing. Her shaving her head doesn't change anything. Doesn't change her talent. Doesn't change the way she sings. Like it's literally, who the hell cares? But also, I'm so, I'm so confused. Another circle, Christians who love Doja Cat, even though she's doing like, demonic imagery. Say what you want about demonic imagery. I, I know there's a lot of people who bl believe in like the spiritual things of like connecting yourself to those things actually has like negative consequences. I'm not saying that that's stupid. I'm not saying that that's stupid. But I am saying that pretending that she is an agent of chaos for the devil, that is the thing that I'm saying is stupid. If you want to believe in like connecting yourself to those negative energies is actually having negative impacts on you in real life, I don't like, okay, what am I gonna say? I don't know. Like, sure. Sure, but that's, you know, it's her prerogative. I kind of love this dude. This guy's kind of awesome. Do I ever miss my gay husband in the romantic sense or do I still have feelings for him? That's a good question. And okay, here's what I'll say. Slava, I think her gay husband, <laughs> I think he's really entertaining. and I think he's really funny. He like, plays into the bit a little bit too much where I like, I don't trust anything that he's saying. Her, I also don't trust what she's saying, but I believe that she's being a little bit more, I don't wanna say upfront, but I think that you can get a clearer view of her personality and her viewpoints and who she is, like what she believes from her videos. I think Slava is just, you know, he's going for the algorithm, he's going for the bits and he's being funny and he's entertaining and I love it. But this is like the type of juice that I'm interested in. I say juice so much, juice, but that's what it is, it's juicy. Sometimes I feel myself mourning that relationship that I had with him. Like the time that he dressed up in all of my bondage gear and he asked me to put on this strap-on contraption. I was like, why? And he said, well, I'm gonna bend over and then you put this on and then take this one thing and then shove it as hard as you possibly can in there. I reflect on those moments a lot. I literally tear up thinking of it and like how <laughs> <it's possible. laughs> This is why, yeah, problematic. Dave. Oh my God, I love her so much. Every single sentence said with the most deadpan, yeah, whatever. No excitement in her tone at all. And she is saying the craziest stuff I've ever heard in my, not entire life. I've seen a lot of videos on this channel, but in that tone, that's crazy to be talking about stuff like that. So yeah, I dressed up in all my bondage gear and he handed me a strap on and he said, I'm gonna bend it over and you put it in there. And I re like, that is nuts. It's not nuts. I don't, not in like a shameful way. In the context of everything that we know about her with Jesus looking over her shoulder, white Jesus looking over her shoulder, by the way, averting his gaze, because he's like, hey, hey, I don't know what you're talking about, sister, but I didn't write into any of that. Also, by the way, how come there aren't any books of the Bible that Jesus wrote? Bro couldn't sit down and write for a second. He had to have people write for him. Do you know how cool it would have been if he wrote one? Now that I would read. And maybe it does exist, but they probably wouldn't put it. I, I, again, not gonna go there. Not gonna go there. Not gonna go there. Not gonna go there. Ah, uh, yeah. It's really sad that me and my gay husband. But she's saying all that and then saying, makes me tear up thinking about it. She's so funny. She's great, but also problematic fave. Let's hear the ending of that again, though. I started laughing a little bit too loud. I reflect on those moments a lot. I literally tear up thinking of it and like how our romance blossomed and those moments. It's really sad that me and my gay husband don't have that anymore, but I'm okay with that because I'm an ally now. 
I don't think that's what an ally is. Is an ally when you find a gay person and you just marry them? I think that being an ally is supporting them while they marry somebody that they're attracted to. You know what I mean? <sighs> But really, it brings to mind that line from Succession. Any Tom Wamsgans girlies out there? Actually, no spoilers, but he has a line where he goes, is that even true? And if you know Succession, you know that's like a <clears throat> in the last season. And I wonder that every time she says my gay husband, I go, is that even true, Shiv? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's look up a Tom Wamsgans edit right now. I need a Tom Wamsgans edit. No spoilers in this one, by the way. No spoilers, just Tom Wamsgans vibes. Excuse me, excuse me. Wait, what? Excuse me, executives Wait, coming through. Damn, sorry I blew you off. What are we talking about Tom Wamsgans for right now? Because of Tom all Is that even true? That's what it was. Is that even true? Oh yeah. Is her gay husband even real? Because her videos, I just look at them and I have more questions than answers. This is me and my gay husband's morning routine. Look at my gay husband. Period. I love him so much. She talks about him like he's a Pokemon. This is me and my gay husband. Say hi. Period. Like... You know, she kind of treats him like a pet, but they kind of love each other. But he's not wearing a wedding ring, but also nothing else makes sense. Before we get up, my gay husband has to look fabulous at all times. So I like to brush his hair. By the way, does he like to look fabulous at all times? Because when I look at the videos of him, he's just wearing a t-shirt and a bandana and he looks like Polo Boy. You know, this dude, like I'm sure there are some comments already that are like, he looks like Polo Boy. Because he does look exactly like Polo Boy. And I wouldn't say that that's fabulous. I'd say, you could say handsome, you could say cool, you could say, you know, whatever. Fabulous? Seems like you're just saying that because he's your gay husband, which is fine. If he's your husband, you should always be calling him fabulous. What am I talking about? I should never criticize her for saying such things. She's being nice. Ah, uh, yeah! Disney princess brush here. He really loves this one. It's his favorite. And then I like to brush my dog too. Literally, she treats him like her pet. But he's also kind of like, he's doing this like he's kind of into it in a weird way. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, he duetted one of her videos. My husband's gay. Slay. He's a gay man. Period. I'm a straight woman. Queen. We are married. Because we ate. We both like men. As we should. And we make the perfect partnership. I'm per. I'm going to say it. True love. That right there is true love. And you know what? I've said it once and I'll say it again. There's nothing more powerful than true love's kiss. <laughs> so you know what? Hey, 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 let them live. God, help this people. I really love the comments where they can't get the conjugation right. Is conjugation the right thing to say there? Absolutely not. But it felt like a smart word to say. I love y'all weirdos very much. <laughs> Please subscribe. I'm so sorry for bringing you to this video. Like, actually, I'm not sorry. I love it. I love stuff like this because it's not... Sometimes I love drama that's like serious because getting into it is like really interesting. Like sometimes I, I do love that, but sometimes it's like, do I want to talk about a young couple who's getting divorced in a messy way right now? And maybe I do, maybe, maybe I do if there's like it, and maybe I do if there's like something interesting about it, but the chances of that happening are pretty small generally. 